Today, I will teach you everything you need to know about crypto hardware wallets. By the end of this video, you will know everything, including how they work, how to choose the best one for your goals, and how to use it effectively to ensure your crypto remains safe. So grab your favorite drink, sit back, relax, and let's get to the good stuff. So what is a hardware wallet? Also known as cold wallets, hard wallets are physical devices that store your wallet's private key, offline. But how do they work? Similar to a software wallet, hardware wallets generate a random private key when you set it up that is used to access your crypto on the blockchain. To initiate and approve transactions, most hardware wallets do require you to connect it to an internet-enabled device. During a transaction, the blockchain will send the hardware wallet a request that must be approved by the user on the physical device. This ensures the user remains in complete control of their funds at all times. Remember, crypto is not stored on the actual wallet itself, it is stored on the blockchain. Both software and hardware wallets are nothing more than an interface used to manage your funds on the blockchain. Crypto wallets specifically provide additional protection by allowing you to own your private key. This is known as self-custody and it is the safest method for storing your crypto assets. So what's the difference between hardware wallets, software wallets, and crypto exchanges? It's actually pretty simple. Crypto exchanges manage your private key for you, thus they pretty much control your assets on your behalf. They are also most prone to hacks and going out of business and that's why they are the least secure option for storing your crypto. Software wallets are a step above crypto exchanges in that they allow you to control and own your private key and thus your funds. But since software wallets are installed on an internet connected device like your phone or computer, they are still prone to common hacks. A hardware wallet also provides complete ownership of your private key, but it stores it offline away from the internet and away from hacks and scams. Plus hardware wallets have additional security features that make them even more difficult to hack, making them the most secure storage solution for your crypto assets. I have a video where I dive even deeper into this topic that you can check out right here. Also, all the videos and products mentioned in this video will be found in the description for your convenience. Now, I want to talk about the different security features that hardware wallets have because it will play a role in choosing a hardware wallet, which I'll talk about later in this video. Not all hardware wallets are made the same, but there are some common security features found in most hardware wallets. First is a secure element. This is the same kind of chip used in bank cards, phones, and electronic passports to store private information and prevent malicious attacks. Next is air gap technology. I mentioned earlier that you do have to connect your hardware wallet to an internet enabled device usually, but with air gap technology, you don't. This security feature eliminates all external forms of communication, including Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and USB connectivity. Instead, it uses QR codes and a camera to initiate and approve transactions without ever having to connect it to an internet enabled device. I've got a full video that you can watch about air gap hardware wallets right here, so make sure to check that out. Next is open source firmware. Not all hardware wallets have open source firmware, but the ones that do allow you to view the code to ensure that there are no back doors. Third, nearly all hardware wallets come standard with pin and or passphrase protection used to access the device and initiate transactions. Along with that, some hardware wallets even come with biometric authentication, such as a fingerprint scanner, and this can be enabled to access the device as well as approve transactions. Lastly, almost every hardware wallet comes standard with a 24 word secret phrase. This is more secure than the standard 12 word phrase often found with software wallets. Some hardware wallets even come standard with something called Shamir Backup. This allows you to create up to 16 different shares for a single wallet and choose how many of those shares you need to access or recover your wallet. You can learn all about Shamir Backup in this video, and remember all the videos mentioned in this video can be found in the description so you can view it after watching this one. So when is the right time to get a hardware wallet? Do you need to be a crypto millionaire to get one? Not at all. In fact, I bought my first hardware wallet the first time I ever bought a couple hundred dollars worth of crypto. And you don't even need to wait for that. Every second your crypto is sitting on an exchange or in a software wallet, it is at risk of being lost due to a hack or the exchange shutting down. But how do you know which hardware wallet is right for you and your goals? Well, there are several factors that you should consider before choosing a hardware wallet, so let's talk about it. First is price. Obviously, we don't wanna break the bank when we buy a hardware wallet. We want to stay within our budget. 
a good hardware wallet can be purchased for between $50 to $250. The difference in price doesn't necessarily mean a wallet will be more secure than the other. Really, it comes down to the brand that you choose and some luxurious features that not everyone will want. For example, the Tandem wallet is a secure crypto card that comes with minimal features, so it does cost a bit less than something like the Keystone Pro that has other features like a large touchscreen and biometric authentication. That said, many hardware wallet manufacturers have sales around the holidays and some of them even offer year-round discounts. In fact, I have discounts for several reputable hardware wallets in the description of this video if you want to save some money. Second, you need to ensure the hardware wallet you buy is compatible with the crypto assets you plan to manage. For example, if I want to use my hardware wallet to manage ETH, then a Bitcoin-only hardware wallet would not be a good choice. Fortunately, many hardware wallets on the market support thousands of coins along with numerous blockchain networks. To check which assets a wallet will support, just ask Google, does X wallet support this crypto? Now, perhaps the most important thing to consider is how secure a hardware wallet is. I've tested and reviewed several hardware wallets and I've come to the conclusion that they all use some sort of combination of the security features that I previously mentioned. Personally, I like my hardware wallet to have a secure element open source firmware, and of course, pin and passphrase protection. But you might want something different and that's completely fine. Something I always do before buying a new hardware wallet is Google if that hardware wallet has been hacked and if it has, has a manufacturer since corrected that issue. If it's a reputable hardware wallet, you should be able to find the answer to that almost instantly. Speaking of reputable hardware wallets, one of the last things I look into is how reputable a wallet manufacturer is. How long has the company existed? Do they have good reviews? And do they have a way to contact them in case I have an issue with my hardware wallet? These are all things I like to know before deciding if a hardware wallet is right for me. And I'm positive if you research all these factors, you will find the right hardware wallet for you. But if you need some help choosing a hardware wallet, I'm going to share some of my personal favorites in just a minute, so hang tight. Once you decide which hardware wallet you want to buy, it is absolutely critical to ensure you purchase it from the correct place, which is from the manufacturer. Why? Because you risk buying a hacked wallet if you purchase it from a third party like Amazon, eBay, Craigslist, or Facebook Marketplace. Besides, the manufacturer almost always has the best price on their hardware wallets. Even if a third party seller claims the wallet is brand new and offers an enticing price, it is not worth buying. So I am well aware that there are a ton of hardware wallets to choose from. And even after considering all those factors that I just mentioned, you still might be having a difficult time choosing a hardware wallet that's right for you. That's why I want to share some of my personal favorite wallets that I use. Now they do all differ in price, security, and user friendliness, but I will touch on that as we go. My personal favorite hardware wallet for two main reasons is the Keystone Pro. Number one, it's one of the most secure hardware wallets on the market as it does have all the security features that I mentioned earlier in this video, and it even has some premium features like a large 4-inch touchscreen. It also supports over 5,500 coins across various blockchains, including NFTs. For only $169, the Keystone Pro gives you the best bang for your buck. Plus, if you use our link in the description, it will knock that price even lower. One thing I will say is that it does take a little while to set up because you have to use a micro SD card to update the firmware since it is air-gapped, which is a little tricky if you're not at least a little bit tech savvy. But if you decide to buy this wallet, I do have a video that will show you exactly how to set this hardware wallet up. Tangem is another favorite wallet of mine because of its price and usability. $40 will get you two cards and $50 will get you three cards. Tangem is by far the most user-friendly wallet on the market and it only takes about two minutes to set up and start using. Now with Tangem, you use your phone combined with your physical card to manage your funds. One thing that many users point out is that you don't actually know the seed phrase to this wallet Instead, it keeps it private on the secure element inside the card. So instead of using a recovery phrase to recover your wallet's funds or the account, that is a reason Tangem sends you multiple cards because they act as your backup. You can watch my full review of the Tangem wallet in this video. Next is the Elipal Titan Mini. I call it the most secure affordable hardware wallet. For only $79, you get a super secure setup, including air gap technology and even a touchscreen. It is a bit more friendly than the Keystone Pro. However, it is a little smaller, but for the price, it is hard to beat. 
To show you how easy it is to use, I'm going to show you how to set up a hardware wallet using this exact device. Also, I have an extensive list of my top hardware wallets where I go into more detail about each wallet, which you can see here. So the setup process for most hardware wallets is pretty similar, and that's why I wanna show you how to set one up in case you are having any doubts about whether or not it's going to be too difficult for you. There are a couple things you want to make sure of before setting up a hardware wallet. Number one, you want to check that your wallet is fully charged so that you're not interrupted during setup. Second, make sure to set up your hardware wallet in a safe location where there are no cameras or other people to watch you do it. All right, let me show you how easy it is to set up a hardware wallet. Step number one, you need to, of course, power on the device. Then choose your language. And for this wallet, I need to download the Alipal app on the App Store, which I have already done. And then here we can create a new wallet or import an account if we have an existing recovery phrase. For this example, I'm going to create a new wallet. Then we have our name here. And of course it doesn't have to be your name, but that's what I'm going to use. And then we want to set a secure password. Now this is perhaps the most important part of setting up any wallet, whether that's a software wallet or a hardware wallet, and that is to record your secret recovery phrase, which we will do right now. So these words right here are the most important words that your wallet provides. This is the key to your entire wallet, to your account. Obviously, I'm not going to use this account because I'm showing you all the words, but you need to record all of these words in the exact order displayed on the wallet. So one, two, three, and that way when you go to recover your wallet to access your funds, you can use these words in chronological order to access your account. After you've written it down and stored it in a secure location, you have to verify that you've entered it correctly. So find, done. All right, once you have verified you have entered it correctly, we hit next. And you can select your coins. These are the coins that you plan to store on your device. So you can enable or disable any coins that you might want to store and then hit OK. And there you have it. This wallet is all set up, ready to go. So if I wanted to receive ETH, for example, I would click ETH and then I can either connect it to an app which if this is my storage wallet, I'm not going to do. But if I wanted to send some crypto from my transaction wallet, like my MetaMask wallet, just go ahead and hit receive here. And then this is the public address that I would paste into the recipient address of my transaction wallet. And I would send, you know, however much ETH to this address, and then it would be stored on this device until I was ready to transfer it back to my transaction wallet. Now, if I actually had crypto on this wallet, when say I had some ETH on here, I would click on it and there would be an option to send it. And then I would put the transaction wallet public address into the recipient address using this device and I could send it back there. Okay, your hardware wallet is all set up. So now you're completely immune to hacks and scams, right? Wrong. Just because you use a hardware wallet does not mean that you can't still be hacked or scammed. You must use your wallet effectively to ensure your assets remain safe. To do this is simple. Only use your hardware wallet to store your assets. Do not use it to transact. By transacting, I mean anything that requires you to connect your wallet to a website or some kind of interface. One malicious link in your entire crypto portfolio can be drained. By having a dedicated hardware wallet used only for storage, the likelihood that it will be hacked is almost non-existent. Instead, you can use a second hardware wallet or a software wallet for your transactions. For example, I use a software wallet like MetaMask to connect to websites to mine and claim tokens or buy and sell NFTs. I make sure that this wallet only has enough crypto on it to pay for transaction fees. Besides that, it has nothing else stored on it. Then once I claim my coins or buy my NFTs, I send them to my hardware wallet until I'm ready to cash them out or sell them. At that point, I would send the coins or NFTs or whatever it may be back to my software wallet to cash it out or if it's crypto and you just want to turn it into fiat, 
you can send it directly to an exchange where you could then transfer it to your bank account. Think of your transaction wallet as a checking account and your storage wallet as a savings account. Besides paying for bills, or in this case, transaction fees, your entire portfolio is kept in your savings account until you're ready to withdraw it. Now, I'm sure you still have some questions about hardware wallets, so let me take a moment to answer some of the most commonly asked questions right now. Number one, does the value of crypto still go up in a hardware wallet? Yes, regardless of what kind of wallet you use to manage your crypto, the value of your coins will adjust with the market. Number two, what if my hardware wallet is lost or damaged? If your hardware wallet is lost or damaged, all of your assets remain safe because ultimately they are stored on the blockchain. As long as you have your recovery phrase, you can use any hardware hardware wallet to recover your funds. That said, you will need to buy a new hardware wallet, and that's why I always like to have one or two extra hardware wallets on hand as a backup, ready to go in case of an emergency. Number three, are hardware wallets compatible with software wallets? Yes and no. Certain hardware wallets can be used with certain software wallets. If this is something that you want to do, simply check the manufacturer's website to see if the wallet you're considering buying is compatible with the software wallet that you want to use it with. There are still a ton of other commonly asked questions about hardware wallets, and I've answered over 25 of them in this video right here. So make sure to check that out. And as always, thanks for hanging out with me.